Mechanical ventilation finds its application in intensive care and long-term care settings to assist patients who require additional respiratory support. It is indicated for acute or chronic respiratory failure, which is defined as insufficient oxygenation, insufficient alveolar ventilation, or both. The benefits of mechanical ventilation are improved gas exchange and decreased work of breathing. Before providing the ventilator support to the patient, assess the condition of the patient and look at what kind of ventilatory support the patient requires. Assess for the oxygen requirement, carbon dioxide expiratory rates, and find out if the patient is suffering from diseases such as pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, obstructive problems like COPD, asthma, and ILD, or if the patient has septic shock. The mechanical ventilator has different modes of setting and fine-tuning is preferred based on the disease. The ventilator consists of a screen in which three different graphs are seen. The x-axis of the graph is time and the y-axis has respiratory variables. The first variable is the pressure and it is called the pressure time scalar. The second variable is the flow of the air or oxygen and it is called flow time scalar. The last one depicts the volume and it is called as volume time scalar. At the bottom line, we can see four variables on the ventilator screen, which include FiO2, positive end expiratory pressure, PEEP, respiratory rate, and tidal volume. The variables on the y-axis have different parameters. Pressure time scalar parameters include peak pressure, plateau pressure, mean airway pressure, and PEEP. Peak pressure is defined as the amount of pressure generated in airways after achieving the tidal volume. In other words, it represents the total pressure required to push a volume of gas into the lungs. The second one is the plateau pressure, which is the pressure achieved after delivering the tidal volume. Mean airway pressure typically refers to the mean pressure applied during positive pressure mechanical ventilation. Lastly, PEEP is the pressure remaining in the lungs at end expiration. Flow time scalar consists of parameters such as respiratory rate, oxygen rate, tidal inspiratory volume ratio, and tidal expiratory volume ratio. Volume time scalar parameters include minute inspiratory volume, minute expiratory volume, inspiratory tidal volume, and expiratory tidal volume. The upper panel consists of modes such as volume control, auto mode, patient details, and age group of the patient, such as pediatric, young, adult, and geriatric. These modes can be adjusted based on the patient details. The basic ventilator modes include volume control or mode, pressure control or mode, pressure regulated volume control, PRVC, pressure support or continuous positive airway pressure, PS slash CPAP, volume support, VS, synchronized immediate mandatory ventilation along with pressure support, SIMV, it can be of two types, volume control, SIMV, and pressure control, SIMV, and SMIV, pressure regulated volume control, or SIMV, PRVC. BiWent and NAVA, both BiWent and NAVA find its usage rarely. Selection mode depends on three conditions, such as the patient is being connected to the ventilator, the patient is maintained by using a ventilator and when the ventilator is removed. Control modes designed to the patients who are unable to breathe. PRVC is also preferred in some of the cases when the patients are unable to breathe. Volume support and pressure support are given in patients who are recovering from a disease. 
They do not require higher modes, so the patient is kept on pressure mode or volume mode, and then slowly, the ventilator is disconnected. Few patients cannot tolerate volume or pressure modes, so these modes are preferred depending on the patient's disease condition and the severity of the disease. SIMV is preferred when the patient is recovering from the disease and they cannot tolerate support mode. SIMV provides full support to present VT, volume controlled, or pressure limit, pressure controlled, for each ventilator generated breath. It is used to wean the patient from the ventilator. SIMV has three parameters, such as SIMV volume control plus pressure support, SIMV pressure control plus pressure support, and SIMV PRVC plus pressure support. The mode of SIMV is selected based on the patient condition and tolerability. Volume mode. Volume mode consists of four basic parameters such as tidal volume, respiratory rate, PEEP, oxygen concentration. Tidal volume is one of the important parameters which varies depending on the age of the patient, height of the patient, and disease states such as restrictive lung disease or obstructive lung disease. Respiratory rate defines the number of breaths taken per minute. When it is in normal condition, the respiratory rate is 14 to 15 beats per minute. But once the patient is connected, the ventilator rate is kept at a little high, which ranges between 20 to 22 beats per minute. The third parameter is the PEEP, which ranges from 5-1 OCM H2O. The last basic parameter is oxygen concentration. Oxygen concentration depends on the level of hypoxia, the severity of the respiratory failure. It is maintained at 100% in the initial assessment and is later adjusted based on the patient's severity. IE ratio, inspiratory expiratory ratio, refers to the ratio of inspiratory time, expiratory time. In normal spontaneous breathing, the expiratory time is about twice the inspiratory time. In the disease state, the IE ratio depends on the disease's state. If the patient is suffering from obstructive lung disease, then the IE ratio can go up to 1 to 4. If the patient is suffering from restrictive lung disease, then the IE ratio can decrease up to 1 to 1. If the patient is suffering from ARDS, the IE ratio can be up to 1 to 5, which means inspiration is prolonged than expiration. This ratio is called an inverse ratio. T-pause can be seen after the inspiration. It is 10% of the inspiratory time. With the help of T-pause, all the alveoli get equal pressure, and the patient with ARDS particularly requires pause. T-inspiratory raise. It is the time at which the breath from the base delivers to the peak inspiratory pressure. It ranges from 1% to 5%. Trigger flow is the parameter that allows the patient to start the ventilation. This means that the initiation of the trigger takes the breath. Breaths can be triggered by timer. They occur at the set respiratory rate or frequency. Patient effort, patient initiated breaths, occurs when the patient causes sufficient change in either the pressure or flow in the circuit. There are two triggers, flow trigger and pressure trigger. The breath is initiated when the pressure trigger and flow trigger reach below 1 and 4 liters respectively, and after that, the machine will start a breath. Basic parameters along the IE ratio, T-pause, T-inspiratory raise, and trigger flow is set according to the patient's condition, and the accept button is pressed. The important indication for a connecting ventilator is to provide the patient with comfortable breathing. After connecting to the ventilator, it is important to check whether the patient is able to breathe.
If the patient complains about uneasy breathing, then adjust the parameters accordingly. Pressure mode. The other mode present in any kind of ventilator is pressure mode. During the pressure control mode, a certain pressure is created at the end inspiration and the end expiration so that the tidal volume is maintained. In this mode, there is no fixed volume and the pressure related parameters are fixed. Volume is decided based on patient lung compliance and lung resistance. Basic parameters for pressure mode include PC above the PEEP, which helps to find the tidal volume which is being delivered to the patient. It ranges from 8 to 10 cm. Next is the respiratory rate and it ranges from 18 to 22 beats based on the patient's condition. The third is the PEEP and the normal baseline is 5. If the patient has a compliance problem, then the value may go up to 25. And if the patient has a resistance problem, then the range is set down to zero. The last one is the oxygen requirement. If the patient has severe hypoxia, oxygen concentration can set up to 60% to 100%. If the patient is recovering, it decreases the percentage to 50 or low based on the requirement. Fine tuners of the pressure mode include IE ratio and T inspiratory rise. If the patient is suffering from obstructive lung disease, then the IE ratio can go up to 1 to 4. If the patient is suffering from restrictive lung disease, then the IE ratio can decrease up to 1 to 1. If the patient is suffering from ARDS, IE ratio can be up to 1 to 5, which means the inspiration is prolonged than the expiration. This ratio is called an inverse ratio. T inspiratory raise is the time at which the breath from the base delivers to the peak inspiratory pressure, and it ranges from 1% to 5%, based on patient condition, and can go up to 10%. Next is the pressure trigger, which includes the time and the patient effect. It can be set based on the requirement. After all the basic parameters are set, press the accept button. For example, if the patient PEEP is selected as 4 cm H2O, driving pressure is 10, then the inspiratory tidal volume is seen as 500. This means that the patient has perfect respiration and the breathing is also comfortable. If the observed tidal volume shows less than 500, then the driving pressure is adjusted. If the minute ventilation is low, then the respiratory rate is adjusted according to the patient's condition. Pressure support or continuous positive airway pressure, PS slash CPAP. Whenever the patient is on pressure support driving pressure, PEEP, oxygen concentration, T inspiratory rise, set the trigger pressure the same as in volume mode or pressure mode. Pressure support has one extra setting called an inspiratory cycle off. The inspiratory cycle off determines when the ventilator flow cycles from inspiration to expiration in spontaneous and support mode. It is also known as inspiratory flow termination, expiratory flow sensitivity, inspiratory flow cycle percentage, e-cycle, etc. The default value is 50% for adults and 50% for infants. For example, suppose patient is in pressure support. The FiO2 is kept at 60%. PEEP is 5 cm's of H2O, and pressure support is kept at the range of 10 cm of H2O. Monitor the minute ventilation and the respiratory rate. If the patient sustains the pressure provided, the patient is recovering. Mechanical ventilation is a life-supporting modality. The increasing use of mechanical ventilation reflects the higher hospitalization in intensive care units and is attributed to an aging population.